Hello, you're watching the App Podcast. This is Jared Hill, and today we're going to take a look at Mark on Call, your home designer in an iPhone application. This app is really cool, and it may even take you viewing their demo video to get the full feel for this application. But basically, what you can do within this application is completely design floor plans for houses, apartments, any space, maybe a home office or even an, an actual office. You could do all of that from within the app, create shopping lists for the things that you're going to need, and even use some of their suggested stuff in here to build a better and more productive workspace or a more relaxing home. So let's go and take a look at a sample floor plan that's in here. We have a sample floor plan for a very simple home. So let's take a look at, at a sample bedroom. Now what you're looking at is just a very lightly sketched uh, floor plan with a door, a bed, um, a dog bed, a closet sliding door, some, some uh, windows, nightstands with lamps and what have you. Um, and this is cool because you can draw this stuff out from within the app. You can make adjustments to these items by double tapping on them uh, after you've drawn them in and adding a color or a depth. Um, if it was a, a lamp or whatever, you can add in a price and a vendor and some notes. Maybe this is a $30 lamp from Ikea or Target or something, and you could add in some notes, um, you know, so that you know where to get it. What's really cool is that you can do more than just this floor plan. I mean, drawing out a floor plan and, and doing all of this on your iPhone is great because you have all this information there, but actually getting a feel for what your, your, um, uh, your room is going to look like is great. Say you're building your bedroom and designing your bedroom and you want to kind of get a look and a feel for how everything is going to fit because you've got, um, you've got your, uh, your bed set here and you're not exactly sure what you want to do for your bedding set you can choose from these different colors in here or you can actually take a picture of a pattern and apply it to a bed set which is crazy I don't necessarily have any patterns that I could take a picture of here so I'm just going to scroll over here to some of these patterns and go with this blue floral and hit save and then let's go back and now you can see I've got a blue floral bed uh, we've got this chair over here on the corner and um, maybe we'll go with a uh, a light gray for the color of the chair and we could go back and now we've got our gray chair and on our dog bed to be one of those kind of fancy fun looking but it matches the bed and as far as the design so let's choose an orange floral I know this is kinda of getting a little out of hand with the floral here but you get the point so now I can not only just map out my bedroom look and feel I can also give it personality by adding in those textures and everything and starting to kind of get a bird's eye view of course it's not going to be the same as when you actually walked into the room and saw the entire room done but it gives you a good idea now you can also measure the distance between two items and uh, and get the get the exact measurements you can zoom in here and figure out spacing um, so these are just good good things. If you knew the size of the room, say for example you, uh, um, you are moving into a house or an apartment, you have a specific size place that you have to go with, you don't have any of your furniture, you can draw in this stuff and start to do measurements and say, well, okay, what size of bed can I fit in this room? Because if you're like me, you've moved into a place before and you've had a bed that's either too large for the size of room or you've had a size of room and everything is too small so you end up with a lot of extra space and that could be an issue so now you can design not only your bedroom but your living room bathroom kitchens everything here draw in cabinets refrigerators um, stoves floor plants all this stuff and completely design layouts right within the application now one of the nice things here is that you can email these pictures or save them as your photo album. So even if you have a designer that you're working with or somebody who's actually um, helping you with this whole process, you could even put together ideas for these floor plans and send them over to the designer and have them and give them an idea 
you know, send over those measurements and everything so they know what they're working with as well. You can also just add simple rooms here, uh, choose the size, give them a name, and hit save. And then we've got an empty room here in which we could start adding items to this room by hitting plus. And now, say we want to enter a, a rug, so we could put in the rug here, um, give it a certain size for the rug. Um, let's say it's just like a, a five foot by three foot rug. And you can see it sizes itself accordingly to the, uh, the room. And we can zoom in and get closer to that. And we could reposition this, um, this rug. And then of course we can add color or style to it as well and give it kind of a look and a feel. Um, so we can also go and change the flooring, give it a look and a feel as well. Everything is customizable in this application. Now let's go all the way back to the beginning here. We have our shopping list, which when we add items to our designs, they will show up in our shopping list, uh, in which we can go and make all of our purchases um, based on vendor, you know, like I was saying earlier, if we had some items from Ikea, some items from Target or something like that, we can separate all those and then go and make those purchases and they would all be within the application. One of the nice things is that it also gives us checklists, steps and different ideas that we can go and base our designs off of because not all of us are the best at designing. I'm sure like me, there are some of you out there who have gone and just bought and stuff and said, oh, that'll look good and that'll look good. And then before you know it, you've got a room that's kind of totally off because you've got stuff that doesn't really flow uh, together. And so these will give you some ideas, these steps here, as to building a better space. And then we also have some additional information here. Um, they have a book you can get from Amazon. You can email customer support, uh, check out their blog. And then the demo video, which does an excellent job of explaining the application. It is a YouTube video, so it will play on the iPhone. All you have to do is click on it, and the video will load up uh, just as normal videos will, and completely explain uh, the entire process of the application, um, even a little bit more in depth. Welcome to Mark on Call. With our easy-to-use application, designing and space planning your rooms is like having a product showroom with an on-call interior designer right at your fingertips. You can create and save room... Create... So the entire walkthrough here of video kind of gives you uh, an additional breakdown of, uh, of what the app is all about. And then, of course, uh, launch that in Safari, so we have to go back uh, to the application now. So Mark on Call is way more than just a measuring application. Um, it is a complete space designer application for those of you who are do-it-yourselfers but like to be organized. Mark on Call is a great application for that. And for the price, I guarantee you, you would spend more money on books and getting recommendations from people um, you, you could do it all from within this application for the small cost of this application in comparison to going and buying all the different guides and books and products that are out there to help you space design. You can do it all right from when, within your iPhone. Uh, potentially most of the same functions even in your iPod Touch. So that's going to do it for our review and look at Mark on Call, a great application for those of you wanting to design your space from within your iPhone. Take care and we'll see you next time on the App Podcast.